Hi, okay, let's talk about this Matador and gun, 5.5 inch gun. <clears throat> um, I will start building it this week and next week and see if we can finish it uh, without it taking too long. Um, <clears throat> I've just been looking at a couple of pictures on the internet, trying to get a good feel for this truck. And I definitely suggest that is the way to to get into a topic. Now keep in mind this is a topic which um, is quite different from something that you've had a long interest in. I just like the um, I like all the vehicles, 135th or 172nd, 176 even. Um, but it's not one that I've ever researched. So before I really get into it, I need to I need to look at what's the characteristics that that really make it interesting. You see those side curtains. They don't they don't really look like side curtains at first glance. In fact, the kit looks like that. Um, and the kit doesn't give canvas. So those parts. You've got, you've got the boarded lower part, which looks good, but that upper part is just flat plastic with the window surrounds. So the, the very first thing that I'm noticing is to make this truck a little bit special, a little bit different from a straight up build, is those canvas curtains. I could build them down, but it has an interesting framework on the inside. So if you're wanting to catch the eye with that bit of extra detail, you can build, what is it, one, two, it could be, could be eight or, eight or more um, wire framework surrounds, which the um, canvas sort of rolls down against. And that's not the most difficult thing to do on this. They they fairly, you know, it's straight with two bends in it and not that difficult to attach. I'm very tempted to think that's the very first thing to do on this is scrap scrap these for sure. Scrap those two pieces. Definitely, obviously, that, that's very good. Um, by the way, those... Those pieces also have hooks on them for the ropes to tie the um, the canvas down on. So if you again looking for that bit of extra detail, those hooks with um, well, now we wouldn't have the ropes on them down, but a little bit of extra summing. Now this top as well. Um, from the brief look that I've had, it looks like there were multiple tops for the matador a a hard straight top but also a canvas one which would depress a little bit over the um the, the framework the pipe the the pole work which again looks a lot better than that so i'm thinking that although that's probably a a legit piece for this model to make the model more interesting um Put the framework on and put on a um, some sort of cloth that will sag and and you know uh, paint it nice and rigid so it's so it's become sort of like a solid piece. So I'm thinking that's where we'll go. The chassis has got a piece broken. This uh, fuel tank. Yes, I'm guessing that's fuel tank has been crushed completely flat so that it's now got a big kink in the middle. And that attaches onto there. So I've got a little bit of fix up work. But anyway, there's the chassis. By the way, I, I've posted rather than try and show you the details while discussing the kit. I've posted um, on my channel just image posts so you can actually take your time to look at them closely showing each of the sprue um, which I think is possibly a better way of looking at it um, 
quite a lot of nice detail. So this is four, four, four full sprues that they give you. And you've got these two, and you've got these two. Now, looking at the instructions, oh, the decals, before I get to the instructions, the decals are really, really simple. So, um, uh, I mean, it's, it, it would be quite possible that we use something else other than that. Um, and, I mean, if you look at the markings there, really, it's a white star. It would be a number plate and two unit badges or something like that. Um, so, we have got the cab. Then the back section, which is where I'll spend a bit more time. The cab has got very elementary seats with a half driver figure. I'm not going to use that driver figure. And the way to improve upon that cab would be to put in uh, the glass onto the windows in the front. So the kit doesn't have that. The, um, so those two window sections there, two per door. Not the most difficult to cut. The, um, the one is a rectangle. There's enough door thickness to get that in easily enough. This one looks a little bit more tricky. Um, two rectangles, but then you've got those thin pieces. But, uh, you know, if you're going to build this to look nice, I think you have to put that in. <clears throat> so this has got that hole on the roof for a gunner. Which, I'm, I'm not going to put figures onto this one. Um, so that hole will just be a hole. So you will be able to see a little bit into there. Um, I'd rather do um, interesting paintwork on the inside than actually spend time doing too much detailing in the cab. Um, now, on the back section, the bed... Obviously, they didn't really intend that to be visible, so it's just flat. There's no detail there, but I'm guessing that it would have had detail very similar to that. That sort of... Um, I'm not sure if that would have been wood or steel. Um, so I'm going to have to look at 135th models of the Matador. I'll just look at build reviews on YouTube. So that will need its, um, maybe I'll do planking and just paint it, or even thin strip plastic card. Uh, the wheels, they look, they look quite fine enough. Um, what I would probably do is a little bit of flattening to give that impression of weight. Um, not too much. Uh, but I think a little bit of flattening would be good for the model. Um, when when something with wheels stands on tippy toe on the tire, it it just doesn't look right. Um, with the exception possibly of the gun. Uh, but I mean, even that gun is a heavy piece for the for the wheels that it would have. Um, the gun itself. That's the main part. You know, it's it's got a fair bit of detail already molded onto it. And it's got it's those those bottom ones there. It's not not a hell of a lot. So, you know, a little bit of a little bit of paint detailing, I think. So that's that's what I'm thinking. I'll I will paint the chassis very nicely. There's a number of interesting color schemes. Well, when I say interesting, ranging from green, lighter green, darker green, desert, so browns, um, olive drab style. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm thinking green. I'd like to go green. Um, 
Olive drab on this one. Probably not. So I think let's let's stay with the slightly more green side of olive. And um, so the gun will be in reasonable condition. The truck can have, um, I shouldn't say heavy weathering, but um, color variation. Let's say, let's say both of them will have color variation in the paintwork to indicate long distance driving, that sort of thing. But not, um, you know, not, not like having driven through the desert for five days. Um, my my goal with this one would be to have a, a nicely presented matador and gun, not a war weary one. So nice detail, weathering, but not overdone, and quite pleasant to look at. So that's the plan. Feel free to give your comments. Um, that grill on the front. Um, is, where's that piece, that is over there, i catch the light there, it has got, it's, you can hardly make out the grill pattern, it's actually so fine, um, one could do something there, but this is a thick plastic piece, so I'm thinking for, for the purposes of this model, um, we'll leave that piece as is. Just try and paint it nicely. Okay, um, let's leave it at that for a first look over and plan of action. Cheers. <coughs>